bigger than us. I remember even before I knew there was a real God and before I was saved, I would get frustrated trying to explain things which, uh, which others could not or did not want to understand. Thus, I thought they were my own personal perception and worldview. Without knowing the Bible, the world was already within my, my mind, mine and in everyone else's heart and mind. But I, just like everyone else, didn't know it, nor could I explain why I believed the way I did. Nobody talked about it. So after seriously reading the Bible for the first time, things started falling in place. And God started revealing the hidden things, the mysteries, the secrets of higher thought. An intimate relationship was being established and I didn't even have a clue. I started to understand myself, others, and God more clearly. It was all something much more grand, grandeur, bigger than my little old self. I was just a participant in, who needed to choose one side of two sides. One of two sides. One of two sides. God was pursuing me and Satan was trying to destroy me. I chose God. I learned the hard way that I was not able to do anything truly meaningful of myself without God. I cannot conquer self, reach the, my, our greatest potential, become the man that we were born to be, or to establish true internal friendships without God. Yes, there is more. We also can't overcome strongholds or defeat evil. It's bigger than any mere, ma mere human is capable of controlling or handling. Consider alcohol, drugs, pornography, sex, gambling, and other worldly temptations. Even understanding and helping others understand the spiritual mysteries of God without God is impossible. Therefore, we call on a turn to God because with man it is impossible, but with God all things are possible. The enemy and his crew may seem bigger, stronger, and scarier. But you are a child of God, the great God Almighty, Yah. He is a Father. And He is all-powerful, omnipotent, all-knowing, omniscient, and all-present, omnipresent, all the time and everywhere. If anyone assumes that God doesn't want to talk to them or get to know them, God already knows them. And He's not ignoring them. In actuality, He, we are the ones that ignore Him. Oops. <laughs> Sorry. The great God Almighty, our Father, is right there, close by, making Himself available to us through His Word, the Bible, which is the living Word of God. Thus, with the help of His Holy Spirit, His internal Holy Spirit, He allows His Word to come alive in us. Our spirits are from God, spiritual sons. Therefore, we have the spiritual aspect, good common sense, the still small voice or a gentle whisper of His indwelling Spirit which many people ignore, and which some have even seared from their conscience. Yes, many are deceived, or have been deceived, yet willingly sever their ultimately intimate relationship with God, and do not realize or believe they are lost, blind, and naked. They are unwilling to know and choose to be, and choose to be unaware of God's judgment and hell. Therefore, do not be like them. Hear God speak, listen to Him, and be obedient. Brothers, this is the number one step toward establishing true and internal relationships with others on earth as it is in heaven. There is no way around it. The Bible teaches as we learn from his relationship with us and we pass that love on to others as well as bring others into the family of God. As a counselor, this is also the first step to true remediation, resolving problem situations, restoration and the healing of self as well as the making of good and godly men, husbands, daddies, and men worth knowing. Brothers, greater is he who is living in us. It's bigger than us. Distress, turmoil, chaos, and the enemy, etc. Yet, they become small as we rest in our Father's presence, his almighty, all-knowing, and always-present self. In the name of Yeshua, this is Servant George. Shalom.